All right, class. I was on a break for a very long time because of the carnival season, but here we are back right now, and we're going to look at the if statement, but we're going to pay attention to operators like the greater than and the and functions and so on. So we're going to do a simple exercise. First by, let me give them the opportunity to input their age. Please input age. All right. We're going to assign this area here for them to input the age. Let's put a box around it. Right. In fact, let me just move this and put it across by B. Because I want to use the cell address 4, 2. Right. I'm going to assign a button now. I'm going to draw a button object. So I'm going to insert. <coughs> right, where's my object here? Shapes. Select this shape. Right, double click. Right click to get some text inside. Select submit. <coughs> Right, you know, of course, you could style this button anyhow you, uh, you see it fit. Alright. Alright. Alright, I will not assign this macro just as yet. Let me just go to my Visual Basic Editor, which I will select Alt and F11. And I'm going to insert a module. Right, so I will select this at sub mm. what should I put age submit age right press enter to get the end sub sub routine. Right. Now first I'm going to declare a variable dim. And you all know that dim could be used to, to declare variables, but I'll show you in a later lesson where you don't even need to use this um this operator now. Dim age as integer. You see how it comes up, the pops up menu. Right, press enter. Right. Now I'm going to assign age to cell. It was four two, right? Because I put it in B. Right? Dot value, whatever is the value that is in that cell. Right, and now of course I could have typed all the entire um, this workbook dot sheet sheet one and so on, but let's use a shortcut. Right, and let me just show the example. I could have typed all this whole thing that this work book dot sheet. Right, this workbook dot sheet All right this is the very long sheet this is the very long way to do because the sheet one that I'm using All right dot cell value now this here is a long approach in terms of um <coughs> writing it to assign it to this specific workbook which is this workbook that we're working in. But of course I could have just put cell four slash two dot value and done. Right? So let's use our if statement in between here. So you say if age because we're checking the condition of age. Is greater than 18. Very simple programming concept. Then we could send out 
Let me send another message box. Message box. Submit or submission, I should say, complete. Right? Else, we'll use the else option here. Message box. Same thing. In fact, I'll just copy and paste it. And this tape put sorry you are too young now sometimes we're gonna find options where we're gonna be perfecting this especially when we do the insurance package because I have an insurance package and I'm gonna teach you all in a later lesson all right we could run this sub now but of course we'll have to assign this to the to our macro so we'll save the macro all right so go to the sheet let's minimize this um save we will save this as eight because it's our eight tutorial all right we go back to our worksheet right click select assign macro and select the option submit age right so you should see when you click away you should see a hyperlink type of a hand showing up all right so let's submit an age in this box here because we we looked at the code and the code say four two is the coordinates four row the fourth row within the second column so let's try a bigger age 19 and click submit and see if it works right so we have a problem here we forgot to put end if close off the statement all right when we get errors like this popping up the next thing we should do is to stop it or to reset all right save and let's go again all right just now show the code again for everybody to look at and let's click the submit button and see if we get in any problems again right now the same concept here again as i said before i could take off all of this and just put the value of the cell instead all right stop it all right and i'm going again tying up one or two of the errors and I'm still getting a problem here. Alright, let me just correct this problem. I forget to put the S in cells. Let's see if I could go back. Undo typing, undo delete. Option cells. Save. And then I'm going to execute the macro now by assigning the button. Submission complete. Right, and if you also choose a age lower than 17, sorry, you are too young. Right? 